right, we're here in another uh, Metro Atlanta Creek. Looking for a little river bass action. Hoping not to get my uh, spinner hung up. And right off the bat, we have a little river bass action. And it is a shoal bass. Unbelievable. Well, I guess I'm gonna have some uh, river bass action today. Let me get over the ground. Because he's probably gonna get away. Oh boy. Oh, uh, beautiful. Some, oh, yep, exactly. See? Eh, eh, eh. Ah, let's see some of the beautiful markings. It's not as is uh, clear as the bigger ones I've caught, but uh, you can see you can see the uh, vertical stripes. Uh, maybe not in the shade as we are right now. Wow, that's a that's a little teeny tiny bass, man. Beautiful though, and it's a sholey, another sholey for me. Um, for a species, I wasn't quite sure. Ever catch. Uh, got quite a few. That is beautiful. Mm, gorgeous. A uh, little release softly into the pool there. Nice. All right. Well, sure. One cast one shoal bass so the intent of the trip has been satisfied outing not really much of a trip um so it's october early october it's kind of the end of the warm weather which is when you usually catch the river bass and uh soon we'll be <clears throat> Actually, the water is pretty darn cold right now. Uh, into the cold water fish, um, uh, particularly the rainbow trout. Fairly certain I can get, get most of my any tangles I get into, to, I can get them out, get them down, whatever. Um, because I use light line, I, I don't want to have my line stuck in a in a tangle. Oh man, it's bent like crap. I don't know. I am part of that kind of pressure. Um, but anyway, so it turns out uh, <laughs> I wasn't that sucky. It was pretty sucky to throw in the tree, but um, as it turns out, I didn't actually throw it in the tree. Whoever used to own this idiotic lure threw it in the tree. Really dumb lure for this body of water. Um, and of course, I couldn't get it down because he used braid. Braid to people use braid stop using braid stop being a pansy you know what braid you might as well use rope okay braid never breaks when you get it stuck you can have it up over the thing then you're just polluting the world with your crappy braid okay stop just use use real line you know in fact you use light line okay have some sense of sportsmanship. This, I had, had to get a saw. I could barely cut through it with my clippers. You know, and this is, I don't know what this is, 10 pound braid, which is really like a million pound braid. It takes a hacksaw. You know, being, uh, I, mean, I know a lot of people use braid, but, um, you know, it's not being a pansy. Don't use braid. Well, you know, be sporting. Be sporting. Give give the fish a chance. You yeah. know, an actual chance. Because you know what? If, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, braid sucks. Stop using it. <clears throat> right. Down a little bit. I really like these uh, dual options or multiple options. Um, portions of the stream where you. Oh, oh, oh there's one. <laughs> I don't know what that was. That was smaller than that first one, but could have been a bass or a little sunny. Came looking for it. Tried to get it. Really dark. Did look like a bass silhouette, but uh, I don't think that one was big enough to 
to take the hook. As far as, uh, oh, oh, there he is too. I think I actually got him. <laughs> I do have him. There's another Sholey. No, 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 no. It's not a Sholey. Ah, okay. Really, I'm getting my fingers caught. I think that's a smallmouth. I think that's a smallmouth. Look at that. I just caught a smallmouth bass in Georgia. That's amazing. Well, they say they're in here, and uh, there's proof positive they are. Wow. All right, well, I mean, that's a smallmouth here as I'm standing here. Look at that guy. Unbelievable. Cannot believe that people put these fish in here, but, uh, mm. Heard stories, heard tell things. Wow. That actually gives me a chance for a very rare um, bass slam. Oh, this guy's not, I can't hold him normally. And that would be, you know, three species. Got I got the mini slam. All right, I don't wanna, that, that might've been a little, Oh, beautiful. There we go. Oh, gorgeous fish. It's actually the, not the first one to hit. First one to hit was smaller than that. I can see his silhouette running or swimming away. That's awesome. That's worth going through the pain in the butt of uh, getting my thing stuck up there in the tree. Um, thing being a lure. Smart Alex. Right there, that was cool. Uh, I'll go so far as to say that was awesome. It's a freaking smallmouth bass in Metro Atlanta. Get out of my town! Oh, oh man, whatever that was, one of those two hits. He came at it, unless that just happened to be a interesting rock up, up crop that I couldn't. See. No, no, yeah, no, it's him. And I got him. Oh my goodness, that's a little bass. It's a little showy. Teeny tiny showy. Oh yeah, you can see the stripes much better in him. Oh, that's just gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, the risk of dropping the phone in. Ah, no, no, no. Come on back to me. Hmm. This might have been the little one that I saw at the beginning. Yeah, that is a pretty fish. Gorgeous. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, it's a gorgeous little black tail spot. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful markings. Beautiful fish. Well, it was too, well, I mean, the camera's too late. Just had a giant, oh, it's still over there. I'm gonna go see it. Giant, well, it's like three, four foot long snake. It's uh, right there. Yellow and black stripes, there he goes. Not very big around, but uh, they're pretty. Uh, it might be the second one I've seen. I saw another one, blue and black stripes, um, lengthwise. That could have been a small snake or a legless lizard. It's hard to tell. All right, another shoal. Uh, so, seen a big snake, saw a small snake or a legless lizard, and I just saw a red squirrel. I've never seen a red squirrel before. That was really cool. Oh, I got him. Nope, didn't get him. Oh, got him now. All righty. Another shoaly. Oh, look at that. Beautiful fish. Oh, that's the biggest one to, so far. And the best markings as well. Let's see if I can get a little. Oh man, just too long. Or just took too long to frame them, center them, whatever. Right, I think I got them pretty good, so I don't have to worry about. Nice. Alright. 
Take a look at him. I want to get him out of here. Good book. Oh, man. He's getting him with two hooks. Very aggressive. Just beautiful, isn't it? I mean, let me move you up in the sun to get a nice soft release. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Gorgeous markings. Not sure if he went over the, or, or straight. But let me move back out of the way a little bit. Maybe that's where he is, isn't where he wants to eat. Oh, 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 oh that was a nice smack. Dang it. Oh, it took it out of his mouth, I bet. This is a good show right here, man. Oh, there's a rock right there. I gotta be careful of the rock. Oh, oh, oh man! I mean, that's a good seven, eight incher. Again, he came out and torpedoed it. it sounded like a Canadian there for a second. Second time he came out and torpedoed it and missed it both times. But man, when he gets it, hopefully. Um, oh, oh, yeah, there we go. What do we have here? Here's my, here's my red breast. I've been waiting for third species of the day. Pretty one. Oh, they're all pretty. There he goes. That might be a. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. What do we have? Another. Red breast. Very nice. Well, same size. Same gender. Beautiful. My goodness. Very sunny. Very, very nice. Okay, let's see here. It's amazing you can catch fish this small on lures. I mean, they are out there. Oh, beautiful paint. Oh, sheesh. Beautiful paint all over the place. Very, uh, very nice green, blue, and yellow on this specimen. Oh, I knew I'd get him. <laughs> he followed it, followed it, followed it. Oh, this is a nice, colorful little wand. Oh, nice red and orange. Oh, look at that beautiful fish. Goodness gracious, look at that tail. Oh, I'm glad I waited for him. Oh, man. I'm in such risk of dropping my phone in. I mean, look at the size of this fish on such a... And look at that little dark orange to the yellow, the gold, the red eye. Oh, the paint on the tail is beautiful. Just a beautiful fish. Hmm. Goodness, it's a creek chub. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, spinner bait. Are you kidding me? Look at that saga. I assume that's a creek chub. I'll have to look it up. Goodness gracious, look at that. Oh, no, boar. Are you kidding me? That's quite amazing. Look at that. Let's see how, how long it is here. to that little mark there. Huh. That's just beautiful orange fins. Stripe on the side. It's gorgeous. Oh, that's probably my personal best for that species. And that's why you always try a place that looks like there's no way in the world that would have a fish. Oh, that was a nice... Oh, there we go. I'm going to have more of these. Oh, it's a beauty. Look at that pretty fish. Good Lord, that's beautiful. Camera's running out of battery. Goodness gracious, what a gorgeous fish. Yes. Hmm. I won't point out the colors because they're all the same, pretty much. Just different variations of beauty. 
I was having swallowed it. Oh, pretty. But uh, just the markings and uh, the perculum on the red breast. Uh, it's actually longer than the long ear sunfish, so it could have actually been called the long ear sunfish, if not for the fact that his belly is so outstandingly uh, red or orange or yellow. This, I, I can see why this spinner is so uh, productive. I mean, it really, really gives off flash for a long distance. Why, why do I keep not throwing it where I want to throw it? It's really not annoying. I, I actually want to get it right up against the, the rocks there. Oh, oh, another one tried me right there. It's closer, but not exactly. Right. A little more, and I think I'll go take my leave. Because uh, uh, that's a little. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there is the bass. Yeah. Let's see if I can get him in here. I'll lose him. That's a little better. A little better. I mean. Oh, that's so upsetting. That was a... Uh... Oh. I certainly didn't hold some. Goodness, that sucks. And the last few fish have been so you know, deeply hooked. How oh, he flew off like that. Oh, that's upsetting. already seen over half a dozen largemouth and spotted bass on the shoreline of this lake. Whether or not either of them any of them bite. Well that remains to be seen. Oh my gosh, there's two of them. There's two bass right there. 16 to 18 to 20 inches easy. I'm gonna hold my spinner right past them. Goodness, they're large. And here I am without my uh, fat wrap. They're, uh, oh, they're just cruising the shallows, though. There they are right there. Oh, they're big. They've got, I mean, they have, they have some big bass in this lake. Oh, man. There we go. That's a nice pulling fish. Wow. Look at that. Can't horse this guy. I think it's a big spot of bass. Let's hope this uh, spinner holds up. Coming up. Did you see that? Holy crap, that counts. <laughs> that counts. That little bastard just spit my spinner. Ah, oh, what a big fish. Well, I'm still gonna try to get one. <laughs> I could take a picture, but holy cow. Another hit, another hit, another hit. That was big. Well, that was a good 18, 20 inches. One of these times I'm gonna come over here and actually catch that fish. And, you know, maybe I should use, oh, oh there we go. There's my, uh, 
verified bass slam. I can get a picture and get him to stop flopping. Alrighty, then. What is it though? Large mouth or spot? It's a largey. Alright, let me wipe you off a little bit. Take a little picture. Alright, that's pretty. Give it a little bit of light here. Yeah, nice. Wonderful. Ah, pretty fish, pretty fish. Very nice, thank you. I think that might have been the one that uh, kind of mouthed it a few minutes ago. All right, well, that's, that's how you do it, I guess. Excellent. All right, nice little outing. A little two-prong. Well, that's what you do it sometimes.